Hello and welcome to weekly vlog 11, which is kind of mad. I'm in like double, more than double digits. Not more than double digits, as in week 10 was the first of double digits and I'm on week two of double digits. Anyway, so it is Thursday, just finished work. It's quarter to six. So yeah, just finished work. Went on a run today at lunch, didn't get changed of course until I went on my run, which is the one bad habit of when I run at lunch instead of in the morning. Haven't got into the good habits of running in the morning yet. So yeah, just finished work. Busy enough day. My room is an absolute tip. I have left a pile of stuff outside my office, which needs to be dealt with. And Kyle is coming up this evening. However, he's getting his hair cut. Lucky B-A-S-T-A-R-D. I have been on a waiting list to get my hair cut since 20th of April. And I'm not getting it done until two weeks time. And he's getting his haircut tonight. Right, dead on 100%. He's getting his haircut. Hopefully we will be filming a video this evening, but he won't be up until obviously later because he's getting his haircut, like I said, three or four times now. So I'm going to tidy. I'm going to do my makeup, hopefully film this video and also get some dinner. So that's my check-in so far for today. Told you an outright lie. I actually did get something that I wanted to show. I actually very infrequently have my camera on and work. I'm, I would say I'm pretty lucky. I don't, I actually wouldn't really care, but having it, the only thing is, is like the way my laptops are set up, like they're set up for me to work comfortably at them, not for my camera angle to be like flattering. So whenever I do have my camera on, I'm kind of like, hey guys, look what's up. Like, cause I'm looking down at the camera. I'm doing some mental health first aid training, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Although I think it can be heavy stuff, but I am still looking forward to it. Some mental health first aid training and I kind of figured it's two full day turn-ins I knew my camera was going to need to be on. So I bought myself one of the little clip-on ring lights now. I have to admit, I would love to know if I could use it on my camera. See so that is clamping. It's clamping on the screen but it also does have little rubber grippies. So I'll just try it on the camera sure you can see. I take my glasses off so I'm not getting reflection. So that is at its brightest and then that's it mm, off. Actually I suppose that's decent enough isn't it? I wish it wasn't. It's a very cool light. I think I threw out the packaging for it but yeah I got it to like this is my mac but clip onto my laptop for when i'm on calls and stuff because the window is behind me and then also obviously it sits like 100 percent on your phone so it will be a wee bit handy to have vlogging or taking the old selfie i'll put in these pictures it does just help a bit a bit a bit a bit to be honest but not the best it was 10 pound off amazon i know i've been trying not to use amazon but for something like this so i'm kind of like yeah amazon but it has very few buttons so the likelihood of it being able to i also not sure what this feature is for but the likelihood of it being able to change temperature is pretty unlikely but that was my little purchase today i also bought a coat which i might give you a sneak peek because it was going to be in a clothing haul but i'm also not sure it's keeping it so i might give you a sneak peek Good morning and welcome to Friday. So yesterday Kyle and I just recorded a video and then um, we actually got, sorry, we actually got, well he got a McDonald's and I had some chips and a Coke. Um, and then we were gonna go a walk but I had my steps through. I just been, honestly couldn't really be bothered. So we came home, pottered about a bit and then we watched an episode of This Is Us. So we had been watching How To Get Away With Murder. To be perfectly honest, like we got to season five, I think probably midway through it. We didn't even really enjoy like season one but we like stuck through it but i have to admit i don't think it's a great show so we kind of gave up on it she tried this is us the first episode fine i know lots of people really do like it um but i think probably think it's more of a me show than a me and kyle show so i convinced him to let me put on an episode of grey's anatomy because he wasn't like we put on the second episode of this is us but like he really actually wasn't enjoying watching it so then i was like right well then like why don't like, cause why don't I just watch an episode of Grey's Anatomy then? Which also, like, I just assumed that because of, I just assumed that his sister, she, well, I know, I know that, I know that his sister Laura has, has watched Grey's Anatomy, so I just assumed that he would, like, know what's going on, but he was like, who's this? What, what are they doing? Who's this? I was like, oh my god. I was like, please. Like, Jeremy and Meredith aren't together right now. Like, like come on. And then he obviously headed home. So off this morning, and I've just stuck my hair under the bathtub, and now I am just applying the Garnier Ultimate Black and smoothing hair food and coconut mask and the Olaplex number three. I do like to mix these because I don't like using enough of the, the Olaplex number three to like saturate my hair so I do like to mix them but I also I always see those TikToks that say like nothing is good about drugstore hair brands so I only wash my hair once a week as I've mentioned 65,000 times on any vlog or any time I talk about my hair but I still don't want to like rapid fire use number three um so I'm mixing the two of them I will leave those in fully the aim is that I will get showered before I start work and that if not I'll have to get showered on my break Molly said that she read a thing apparently the older plex number three like stops working after like 45 minutes or something like, half an hour i don't know like apparently it's like 
obviously like less effective so I would have previously left it in overnight sometimes but yeah it's a very long morning check-in but I feel like the last couple of videos have been super short so I feel like I can bulk them out slightly but I had been washing my hair during the week and then I was like why am I having clean hair all during the week and then when it's getting to the point of needing cleaned is the weekend so then I was washing my hair on Saturday morning and then I was like I hold on a minute I should be really washing my hair like during the work day because I can wash my hair at like five to nine and then I can sit with it in a towel until like 11 because I'm just sitting at my desk and then at like 11 o'clock I can take five minutes stick my hair oil or whatever and either let it air dry or at lunchtime then take the 10 minutes that it takes to dry it as opposed to spending like whatever amount of time on my weekend dedicating to cleaning my hair does that make any sense and the other thing is is that the way that my runs have gone I'm supposed to have a run tomorrow but I honestly don't think I'm gonna do it because I'm not running on day one hair I'm just not and Kyle and I are hopefully going to get out for a drink somewhere at the weekend just for something to be at um he got his hair cut I think I don't even know if you know he was probably briefly in the vlog last night but he got his hair cut so short he says it's not the shorter th shortest it's ever been and maybe it isn't but compared to how long it has been it certainly seems like it is super duper short but yeah we might go into town, but I think we're probably going to stay local. The original plan was to go into town, but I think we're going to end up staying local. But yeah, so I'm just going to work through the sections of my hair, working in these masks, and then I'm going to leave them for, like I said, about a half hour. Um, and I also might put on fresh tan tonight, but I haven't fully decided, which is a problem because I need to exfoliate and stuff if I am. I put the Garnier Summer Body on during the week. I have to say, like, I really do rate that stuff, even though, like, at the minute I've been wearing, like, actual, you know, actual fake tan as opposed to, like, gradual lotion, but I really actually do rate the Garnier stuff. I would really recommend it. Um, and I put that on during the week there. Um, because I actually I love be bold tan, but it fades on me quite fast and it fades really nicely and everything, but it does fade. So I just put a wee layer of that on on Monday night because I was like, oh, I have to go back to work. So I stuck that on and I have to say it has prolonged my tan very, very nicely. Then saying that again, if Kat and I are going to go out for a drink and stuff tomorrow night or tomorrow day, probably, I would like to have tan on. So maybe being refreshed tonight. But without the exfoliation and stuff that you really should do. But anyway, that is my morning check-in. Can't believe that was so long. Probably gonna have to avoid talking to you for the rest of the day. So it is Friday afternoon. It's ten to six. Um, evening, I suppose. Uh, I was at the petitions earlier. Then I've just been working, and now I need to go a walk. So eight minutes to six. I'm hoping I'm gonna be on this walk at six o'clock. You need to get six thousand steps. So I think it's about seven minutes to get a thousand steps. So seven times six. 6 times 6 is 36, 42. So a 45 minute walk. And then um, Kyle and I recorded a video last night, which hopefully will be up on Sunday. If it is, I'll link it here. It's always linked at the end. I'll maybe link it in the bio. Go watch my videos and um, support me. Like I said, yeah, so we filmed that last night and I would like it to be up this weekend. So I'm gonna go for my walk, get something to eat, and then I'm going to spend the evening wrapped up in as many layers as I can be because it's bloody well thick. And then I'm gonna, yeah, like I said, edit my video. And I'm seeing my sister tomorrow. My sister Megan was down this afternoon and then my sister Aoife I think is coming down in the morning. And I think I'm gonna meet Molly for a walk and Kyle's coming down this weekend. And I'm hoping that we're gonna get out for a drink tomorrow, but I wanna stay somewhere local. So one place, that the one place that is taken bookings is booked, obviously, because I'm looking for less than 24 hours away. The other two places are walk-in and then the first place has walk-in availability. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get dressed up and put on a walkable pair of shoes in and try each spot hopefully that will be fine so yeah like i said i'm just gonna go get changed now and uh leggings and a big ass hoodie and a coat so i can go for a walk and not be bloody baltic good morning and welcome to saturday so it is absolutely miserable outside beyond awful <laughs> outside i actually was woken up this morning at like six and then again at like seven by the weather i then weirdly just <laughs> And that got like really weirdly anxious, so I couldn't actually get back to sleep. Um, so I put my podcast on for a bit, and then I decided to watch some YouTube videos because I haven't been watching YouTube. I just haven't found the chance to watch YouTube in ages. And then I've been watching like Grey's Anatomy, so I've been watching like TV, and I haven't watched YouTube in ages. So I've just been catching up on YouTube. And then there's just one girl, Mia Maples, who I like. I really like her videos, and I haven't really been watching them that much recently. So I've actually been kind of like binge watching. I've watched like seven YouTube videos this morning, like not just by her. I went on Thursday. 
there and got a cup of tea and put my dressing gown on. Um, and I'm gonna like square up my room. I need to put my laptop on the charge so that I can check my video just before I upload it. Yeah, I just, and I don't want to do it because the whole plan was that Kyle, well, Kyle will still be coming down this weekend, like bad weather or not, but the whole plan was that he was gonna come down this weekend and we were gonna go to like a beer garden and uh, we were also gonna meet Molly for a walk. And somehow I think these plans aren't happening. So this is me for the foreseeable. Um, I'm also with my, it's a really bad angle, but with my fire stick, I can now just watch my YouTube on my TV, which I could before, but like I had to do it via my phone. I can do like my Prime, my Netflix, everything off my phone. So Amazon, you're good for something. This for your vlog? Yeah. This is why garlic is smelling, Pamela. Oh wait, get over here, it's all white. You can see it. I forgot to vlog yesterday. We also have a great idea for a short film. Stay tuned. Hashtag shorts. Biscoff spread, Nutella, soy milk and oats, and lots and lots and lots of watermelon. Welcome to Sunday. I really haven't checked in very much at all today. I've tried to take a few wee clips here and there just um, to have something, but I haven't really been checking in at all. But I'm sitting down here to sew because I haven't sewn in a long time and I'm hoping to, um, I think I mentioned a long time ago, sew the pockets of a coat that to be honest I rarely wear and hopefully the weather's coming out of, but still and all. So I've just set up my sewing machine here. I had to do my upper thread. So it's set up. So I'm going to do a few practice stitches. I had to replace my presser foot and I also had to um, re-thread my thread. So to be honest, kind of petrified um, just because I'm not confident sewing. So I'm going to just do this and then if that works, I'm going to try and do the inside of my coat and just stick on a podcast. So I figured I might as well just show you what I'm up to basically. working correctly. I'm not 100% sure what I have done wrong but if I snip this thread here which is far too much thread in the first place. Hopefully you can see here this did not sew, didn't actually stitch. <sighs> I suppose we shall try that again will we? To be honest, I'm gonna give up because I don't know what is wrong. So I'm going to speak to my sister about it. A very frustrating end to my attempt to sew. Good night. Welcome to Monday. So I am actually not working per se today. I am doing mental health first aid training. So it's just finished up. Um, for today, so it's a two day course. I'm really enjoying the mental health first aid training. So sorry, my camera is not quite right. Um, it was an opportunity that I was given with work. Um, the cost of it, it was about £300 I believe, which is obviously a work expense because I'm gonna be a mental health first aid trainer within my workplace. But do you think like if it was to be more readily available to people at a lower price, I would really recommend taking advantage of it because it's very important. They did talk a lot about how, you know, there is legislation about having physical first aiders, but not about mental 
health for stators and it's very obviously it's very important a lot about science to recognize things that can be triggered support mechanisms and how to support people in a mental health crisis and also a lot about the terminology to use and terminology to avoid and how the things that we say you know can have triggering effects on people so it's really really interesting and um, I'll maybe talk more about it between today and tomorrow I kind of just <laughs> if I am going to talk about it I want to you know make sure that I'm actually referring to my work booklet because obviously like not that floods of people watch my channel but I don't want to be putting any misinformation on the internet about what is I consider to be a very 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 important topic but I also have a look and see if there are any resources available that are obviously based off the mental health first aid training what am I trying to say free resources so obviously you know you're your best to be fully trained of course but in the same way that physical health if you know at least doctor abc danger response airways breathing circulation and then call for help you can at least have an idea of what to step in and do as opposed to be essentially flabbergasted in a crisis so i'll see if there's any resources that i could share down below because again i'm just a very big advocate for this i think it's very very important so i'm down to run on this morning i had both my nieces down this morning um my other niece is now away. My sister just had an appointment. So we had Cor we had Fia as well. And then we also had Cora. We have Cora still. My training is done. So I'm just tidying a few things up with work. Because obviously I am off. Like not off. But out of office today and tomorrow. Um, so just trying to keep on, keep on top of things. And then I'm going to go spend some quality time with my niece. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Um, I thought I'd do a quick little check in this morning. I have just been out for a walk. I walked two miles. Um, my training is alright. I'm sitting on the edge of my bed. Because I have my camera sitting on a tripod. It's very uncomfortable. Unimportant. Um, yes, yeah, so my training doesn't start until 10 this morning. So I thought I'd take advantage of being a wee bit later to work. So I am going to log on here. It's like 9.15. Um, so I'm going to go log on now and get a few bits and pieces done before the training. But I thought I'd take advantage. I don't know what it is. But like I cannot get up in the morning. Like just exhausted every morning. And I haven't been going to bed any later. I haven't really been doing anything different. I think I maybe need to look at my diet. Because I have to say like on basically on days that I'm like not prepared. So like yesterday for dinner I had noodles like literally just plain noodles with some mushrooms that I'm like I suppose those foods aren't giving me energy because I don't feel I've been exercising more but then like exercising is supposed to give you more energy but I have been like dead to the world every morning so I just got two miles walk there and I was home at like five past nine so I'm gonna quickly make my bed and stuff um and get sorted and then have a cup of tea and then I'll just grab my breakfast a wee bit later on in the day because again with exercising more I feel like I've been hungrier um so I don't want to eat my breakfast at like eight I am because then I'm just starving at 11 so I'd rather have it like maybe like 9 30 or so and then I have leftover noodles for lunch that's me I think the lighting's really weird in the angle that you're in but it was just for a morning check-in hello and welcome to Wednesday so it's just on lunchtime I actually went out for um a 40 minute run this morning so I'm pretty good for steps so I think I'm just gonna get my vlog sorted and stuff this lunchtime as opposed to go out for a walk and I'll go for a short rerun this afternoon so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking this is gonna be my last check-in for today and then I can just if I do anything worth talking about this evening I can include it in next week's vlog because otherwise I can't do anything to my vlog until Thursday and it means I'm trying to get it uploaded during work which is fine because it takes you two minutes to upload it and then two minutes to let it process just can be a bit of a stress sometimes so I think my plan is to I'll like wrap up the vlog by five o'clock always on like Wednesdays and then that way I can get it done on Wednesday evening so it's sorted for Thursdays and I have decided I am going to post now I'm getting a bit of dry skin off my fingernail and um, I've decided I am going to post now on Thursday and Sundays and um, it just suits me a wee bit more for the vlog so Kyle and I's anniversary is in a week and a half I think maybe two weeks like I know the date of it I'm just not sure oh, no, well it's on a Sunday actually so it's a week and a half so we actually kind of ended up going a wee bit overboard but I'm also cool with it so basically the original plan we wanted to do something and then Oh no, how did this even come about? You wanted to do something and then I was chatting to my mum and two years ago for my birthday, part of my birthday present was, it's actually really sweet. So basically I'm like always on the go, always doing something like a pure busybody. So my birthday present was like hotel booked, snacks bought, the OC on DVD bought. And it was like, we have dinner booked at eight o'clock chill out and have a relaxing day and we but like we went out for breakfast that morning and then we went to the hotel all day like completely just chilled out had a wee drink like in the hotel then went out for dinner and it was a really nice day but like we stayed in 
Para Lodge, which is near Botanic. And it really made me be like, God, I didn't really think that staying in Belfast can be so nice. Cause like I'm from Belfast, like Kyle isn't, but I am. I was chatting to my mom and my mom was saying like, yeah, it can be really nice. So then I started looking at booking a hotel for our anniversary, you know, like have a meal and then stay over and just kind of make a bit of a to-do about it. Especially cause we haven't been on holiday. We've been camping, but we haven't been on holiday in a year and a half. Like Kyle has summer school all this summer. So the likelihood of us getting away this summer is pretty unlikely as well. And we were given money as a birthday present, sorry, as a Christmas present for the two of us to have an overnight. So then I started looking, then I realized that hotels weren't open. So I was like, flip's sake. So then I booked table at Kobe on our anniversary and a table at Kelly Sellers for afterwards for drinks. But then I was like to Kyle, like, should we look like maybe just the week after when hotels are open? And then he's actually off the second bank holiday or he's getting a day in lieu or something. So now we're going out for a meal. I'm going out for drinks on the Sunday and then we're staying in a hotel on the Thursday and I'm we're getting a meal and drinks at that as well. So we've gone pretty OTT. I have to say I'm looking forward to it because we do have the money set aside because we were supposed to go away in December and I got I had to cancel it because we both had to isolate and then we have this money. So we've we've had this money sitting aside to put somewhere and like it's almost June, do you know what I mean? I'm very, very excited. So I'm just waiting to hear back from the hotel to get it booked because they emailed me and they were like, do you want to book in? And I was like, yeah. So they haven't got back to me and I'm like, well, am I booking in via email or am I booking in online? Do you know what I mean? I know that's pointless information. And then I've got my table confirmed for Copy and my table confirmed for Kelly Sellers. So I'm buzzing about that. And yeah, now I'm just working. I'm gonna square up my room a wee bit and have some lunch. And I will check in later at least to say goodbye. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now. I actually am going to Ikea tonight. So um, I'm just going with my dad and we're literally just buying some shell. So I might take a wee clip of my phone and stick it in if I do remember, or it'll maybe be in next week's vlog or it won't be in any vlog at all. But yeah, I've just been sitting editing this weekend's video um, until my laptop died. Apart from that, I just finished up work, had dinner, then editing, 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 and I'm going to go to Ikea. I need to do the dishes first. I also am sitting here and I'm going like, I feel like this is quite a nice, would be quite a nice place to record. So my skin looks quite good. I need to stop watching people who do career as like a YouTube, who do YouTube as like a career and then being like, their filming looks so much better than mine. Cause I'm like, yeah, cause they have like, not even necessarily a studio, but you know, they have a setup. And I'm like, I'm, I'm an amateur. That means my videos are allowed to look amateur. But don't ever tell me they look amateur. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's vlog. Bye.